What's going on about this Afro think tank? Real quick, have y'all noticed that I don't, I barely mention Tariq Nasheed, FBA, Ados, and the Pretendians? Have y'all noticed that, I mean, every now and then I may use them as a reference for something, but have you noticed I almost completely stopped talking about them as, as if they don't exist? Y'all want to know why? It's because they have been proven to be irrelevant. They are no longer a threat, right? They've been proven to not really be an actual movement, but a bunch of incel introverts on the internet, a bunch of social weirdos that use the internet to entertain themselves, right? They've been, they've been exposed to be basically fools, right? That's why I don't talk about them because I know they have no actual effect on what happens in the real world. And Tariq Nasheed is such a clown, such a joke, that there's really no purpose in talking about him either, unless you know, something you know crazy, ridiculous happened. And I feel like a lot of people are actually giving it, are giving them oxygen by continuing to talk about him. I'm like, they're, they're not even to me as a Pan African who levels up, you know, who, who levels up in, in in society, right? I once I get to a certain level, I can't even see, I can't even see people below me, you know, when it comes to like, you know this this when it comes to this arena like there's got to be a point in time where you're leveling up to the point to where you can't see some of these some of these people are no longer your foes right they're not in the same league as you right and you have to kind of just let them play in the minor leagues like i like what fba and ados when you find out they're not serious when the rubber hit the road and they didn't do anything they didn't really accomplish anything and they can't hold their own people accountable you know you can't take anything they say or do seriously just like MAGA, right? Black MAGA Republicans. Those people can't take them seriously. They run their mouth, they're loud, boisterous, wrong, wrong side of history. Yet they, they're mostly just contrarians who just want to go against popular culture to make themselves look like they're above. But, you know, just like history shows, they will continue to be on the wrong side slash coon side of history. And as you know even though this is like the political season so everybody's talking about politics you know you'll notice that when i stop talking about somebody when i stop talking about it that means they're no longer relevant and soon enough donald trump is going to be no longer relevant soon enough and because the black republicans are pretending like what's happening is not happening you, they, they haven't made one video talking about what's really happening in the real world with donald trump and all his nefarious activities that he's been caught right video phone documents witnesses all that stuff don't matter because black cult people in cults don't care about don't care about reality truth you know evidence eyewitnesses camera anything they don't care about none of that stuff they only care about that narrative that they want to spin they only care about their club they only care about the leader they idolize that's why fba ados maga they're all the same they're all cults they're all personality cults all of them and soon enough, MAGA's gonna be gone. Just like we had the Tea Party. The Tea Party, you know, they had a bunch of energy. But guess what, they're gone. You know why? Because the Tea Party, as much energy as they had, guess what? They were on the wrong side of history. And there were some black people that decided to be contrarians and jump to the Tea Party. Guess what? They, just like their white, um, uneducated counterparts, also are just relegated to a joke in history. And everybody who supported Donald Trump, y'all may, you guys may feel like you're doing something now. You guys may think that your position in history is, is going to be weighted, right? But history is going to show how much of a clown he was, how disastrous he was, how embarrassing he was, how much of a criminal he was, and how shameful it is that he ever managed to become the president of the United States and everybody that supported him are going to be looked at and seen in history as people who are on the wrong side of history. Like, that's a guarantee. Just like FBA, but FBA, ADOS, and all them—they're not big enough, or, or, or um, they're not big enough, loud enough to actually be mentioned in history. They're just gonna go the way of many other cults, you know. But all these various political cults, social cults, ethnic cults, racial cults, tribal cults, religious cults—all these cults are on the wrong side of history. Soon enough, in the books, they will be relegated into the genre of fiction, fantasy, and pseudo intellectual pseudo politicians pseudo religion pseudo everything you know there'll be a history lesson on what happens when uneducated people get brainwashed by people who are wizards with the tongue who are masters of of the oratory arts 
But anyway, I just want to say, if y'all notice I stopped talking about certain things, y'all stop seeing certain things in my orbit, it's because they become less and less relevant. Because I like to move on to bigger and better things, relevant things, things that's happening in the real world, things that are tangible within our community. And I don't like to be distracted by, you know, dumb stuff, dumb stuff that have no real impact on our community whatsoever. Right. And that's how I evolve as an individual. We can't remain stagnant. You know, if, if you consider yourself a revolutionary, a, a advocate or black power enthusiast, whatever, just know you can't say stay stagnant in one position. You always got to level up. You always got to find better opponents. You always got to find the real story and you always got to stay grounded in reality because a lot of you guys are not grounded. A lot, a lot of these YouTubers are not grounded in reality. They're only ground, grounded in the ego trip they get when they get a bunch of likes shares views and a few um super chats on their channels that's it that's all i got to say this is afro think take learn some teach them i'm out